Hey everybody, stay tuned for this Azure Unblogged episode where I'm talking to VJ from the Azure Update Management team. He talks about the product and how you can use it within your environment to patch your Windows and Linux machines and also share some insights into how you can do that third party patching as well. And lastly, he actually mentions the private preview uh, that is running within the product. So stay tuned for all of that. Welcome to today's episode of Azure Unblogged. My name is Sarah and I'm joined by VJ from the Azure Update team. Welcome to the show, VJ. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, everyone. Uh, hi, I'm the PM for the OS Update Management Service in Azure, also popularly known as the Azure Update Management Service. And it's a pleasure to be here. Awesome. Now, I've been using um, Azure Update Management for a while now, both at my home lab and for customers. But for those mm -hmm. that aren't familiar with the product, could you give them a quick overview as to what it is, please? OK, so first things first, Update Management is a wrapper for the operating systems update service or package manager, right? And it allows you to, it's a wrapper that allows you to control it from the cloud and tell it when to execute updates or and how you want to do it. Uh, so there's a nice uh, documentation that we have there, which kind of illustrates the same. So the nuts and bolts of it is that it's built on the Azure Update Management and Log Analytics solution. As you can see from the diagram in the documentation, right? So what happens is in from the cloud, when you write a job or ask for update management to uh, start patching the machines that you would want, we essentially look at the automations, Hydrogen Worker on that machine uh, to start executing a script to start getting the package manager, let's say YUM or Recipa or the Windows Update Service if you're using Windows Server to start executing those updates that you had wanted. And we do, do additional checks like ensuring reboots don't happen and things happen in the time window that you wanted and does not perpetuate for infinity and beyond. And additionally, you can also ask us to do some pre and post jobs. So for example, if you have a set process by which you want to gracefully bring down your application and then patch the machine and then bring it up again, we can do all of those things. And finally, the store in this case is the log analytics. Uh, so all the information that we generate all the logs is stored there. And you can use the power of Kusto and log analytics to kind of slice and dice and build your own custom dashboards, uh, queries, reports, and alerting and all of that goodness that comes from Azure Monitor. Awesome. Now, thinking about a customer's journey into Azure, where does um, the update management solution fit? Is it a replacement for the existing patch management solution, or is it something they use in conjunction with what they've already got? OK, uh, that's a good question, uh, Sarah. So update management solution, much like everything else that is built in Azure, is built for the hybrid cloud. We don't think of, you know, uh, on-prem and uh, cloud as variants, it's everything mostly in Azure is built for the hybrid world. And so if a customer is looking for a cloud-based mechanism to do patch control, they can start off with their on-prem assets and as they move to the cloud, uh, the update management solution can continue that journey with them. Uh, as, as such as for uh, when you're asking as a replacement for the current uh, solution, uh, one thing to understand is that update management is a free solution, uh, like free as in beer, right? Uh, except for the part for the log storage, which goes to log analytics, but more or less it's free. And hence, you know, it's a no frills kind of product. So it meets the most common scenarios and needs. So based upon if you have certain complex needs, they may be kind of are out of the ballpark of the solution itself. But, you know, uh, Azure and Microsoft has a buffet kind of a thought mentality when we build our services and products. So while update management on its own may not do everything, we have supplementary services like, you know, uh, configuration management and automation and you know policy which kind of supplement and help string together uh, the same functionality that you may find in other commercial offerings in the same space uh, a good example could be wss or the windows server update service right which can be leveraged alongside update management to do things like baselining update caching and even uh, pushing third party updates to your machines so while update management on its own cannot do it we rely on the you know we work on the uh, the capabilities of other services in Azure and Microsoft uh, so that you have the choice to pick and choose what you want and how you want to do. So you actually mentioned third party updates there, VJ. Now, obviously, Windows and Linux patching is a big part of any customer's kind of environment. And so is that third party update management. Where does Azure update management actually sit? Can it help deploy these third party um, updates for you? 
Um, so like I alluded to earlier, right? Update management does not try to reinvent the wheel. Uh, it instead is a wrapper for the operating system and its capabilities as in the package manager or update service. On the Linux side, things are a bit more upfront because the package managers can pick up third-party applications to you know, install and update if you hook them up to the right repository, right? So if you configure, let's say, to a repository hosting, just for example, right? The open office uh, repository hook them up. So considering it as a third-party application or Oracle repository, it can pick up updates for the Oracle DB and update management will show the same and allow you to install the same as well. When it comes to Windows, it's a little more uh, catchy because Windows servers use the Microsoft or the Windows Update service. And the Windows Update service can fetch and install, apart from the OS updates, updates for the Microsoft applications. So out of the box, this is this restriction. But, but there are open source ways by which you can push third-party applications, let's say like uh, an Adobe Reader or a, a Java update through the pipeline such that it is consumed by Windows Update service. Uh, so I provided a link of an open source tool called WSS Package Manager, which essentially takes any third party application update packages as a WSS update and through the WSS pipeline pushes it to your Windows Update. And therefore, you know, if that is connected to Windows Update uh, Azure Update Management, uh, then you will see those updates and you can apply those third-party application updates through update management. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize that open source project was there, so I'll need to have a look at that, VJ. so thank you for pointing that out. Um, I think you alluded to it earlier on when you were explaining what update management is within Azure, but something people always ask me about and can't quite believe when I tell them the answer is the cost of implementing Azure update management. Could you take us through what it actually means when you're you're implementing that in your environment? Yeah, that's our secret sauce because, like I said, uh, update management is free, free as in beer. Uh, no matter how many times you ask the solution to uh, set up schedules to update your machines or how many machines you uh, choose to update using update management. We don't charge you a cent or a penny. Uh, more details on the link that I've uh, provided. But update management as a solution has to store its data somewhere, right? For it to be person, for us to be able to give you reports of what went right, what went wrong, what we installed, and what we didn't install, etc. And that store is currently Azure Monitor Logs, also known as Log Analytics. Uh, the Log Analytics service has a free tier of up to five GB or with a retention of 30 days or one month. Exceeding that uh, limit is where you have to pay uh, the log analytics. More details on the Azure Monitor pricing page. Uh, so on average, if you see, we see that a machine connected to update management generates around 25 megabytes of uh, logs. So given the 5 GB free tier, most small and medium users should not see any charge coming out of update management because the jobs are not charged and the data possibly falls under the free tier. It's only for the larger customers or with customers who have a necessity to store the data for a long period of time, let's say for audit purposes or other legal purposes, that's where some incremental charge will, uh, might come into play. But yeah. else it's all free. Yep, I, I've got a home lab, a home server here, and I love running um, Azure Update Management within that free tier um, because it saves me from having to apply all those patches, VG, myself. Um, talking about where the future is for Azure Update Management, is there anything you can tell us about roadmap features or um, any insider information that you're able to share at all? Yeah, this is where the, you know it becomes tricky as the legal team has <laughs> their eyes and vigilance on us. but. If you've been uh, following update management, we have been tirelessly working to expand the service to all popular regions of Azure Cloud recently. So in the past few months, we have brought out to most of the more popular regions that have been asked by customers and other folks like North Europe, Central US, Central Asia, East Asia, France Central and more, uh, Azure China and more. And we continue to expand and bring it to more popular regions and hubs as we go forward in this year. Secondly, the other big ask that uh, we saw was on the operating system front, right? New operating system scheme coming out. Hey, does update management work? Is it validated and verified for those? So we just uh, have uh, done the verification and now officially support things like Red Hat 8, Cent 8, 
uh, uh, SUS uh, Linux Enterprise Server 15 and so forth. And in the pipeline, we'll add support for things like Ubuntu 20.4, uh, LTS, and Oracle Linux as well. And the last and more interesting part is we have in, this is the insider part, where I have to tread carefully, uh, is we have in private preview something called Azure Update Center. Uh, that's the current naming that we use. Uh, it is essentially the same, almost same as Update Manager, but decoupled from log analytics and automation. So whatever uh, grievances or whatever uh, issues that people might have had with the solution because of its coupling with log analytics and, uh, and automation kind of go away. So onboarding is basically non-existent now. So it's like a native operation for your uh, Azure uh, Azure compute machine or an Arc machine. If you have installed an Arc agent on your on-prem machine, you have just not need to do anything more. You can just go and start doing uh, patching for the same. Similarly, if you have an Azure machine, basically you don't need to do anything more. Just go and patch it directly. And of course, because it's a, like a native operation, you in it gives you the power of Azure RBAC to create those custom roles and control if you are in a mixed environment, right? You have multiple people uh, touching the systems and you want to deviate who gets to do these kind of operations, which may be destructive in nature, like causing updates and reboots. So all of those things are uh, possible now. You can sign up for the preview uh, at the link we have provided. Once you fill in the details, we'll mail you the our doc, which tells you how to onboard your subscription you, the features that are entailed and you know how to use the preview. Uh, that's all I can. I think I can tell in the preview of legal linearity. But <laughs> yeah, we're happy to happy to have people try it out and give us feedback and take it forward. Awesome. That sounds very interesting. I might try and sign up for that private preview myself, VJ, to see what it looks like. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure talking to you and kind of working my way through the um, Azure update management questions that a lot of people come across. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. So again, thank you. And we will be sharing the links that VJ mentioned in the description box below. So make sure you check them out as well.